A deal between the UK and Ireland to bring wind energy to British homes is being criticised for potentially damaging the Irish countryside. The deal, signed today, will mean Britain gets cheaper green energy and Ireland gets investment and jobs. But there are concerns that it will lead to the construction of some of the biggest wind turbines in the world. Our correspondent Matt McGrath reports. EU targets mean that keeping the lights on across the UK is going to need a lot more renewable energy from 2020. One possible solution is to buy that power from Ireland, a country long associated with all things green. Britain's difficulty could well be Ireland's opportunity, as companies eye the profits to be made from wind energy exports. They believe they can provide 1.5% of UK energy needs from Irish wind by 2017. They are planning to put turbines all across the flat, boggy Irish Midlands. But there are worries that the wind in the bogs is often too slow to generate power. Some much larger turbines will be needed. Building wind farms on boglands has already been done successfully here in Ireland in Tipperary. But to generate the green electricity needed to power 3 million UK homes is going to require much bigger turbines than the ones you see here. In fact, it'll need some of the biggest ever built in the world. The company behind the plan says that 700 of these giant turbines will be needed. They will stretch over 600 feet up into the Irish sky. We felt it was better to build uh, slightly larger turbines but fewer of them and, and that's the best way to, uh, to, to minimise the impact on the local area. Opponents say these giant wind farms will be a blot on the landscape of a country that trades on its unspoilt green image. They say the real reason that Ireland is being saddled with these turbines is because of the hostility of many Conservative MPs to wind. It seems to be an Irish solution to a British problem. Politically, um, they don't want turbines built on the, in the British countryside. They're under a lot of uh, pressure fr from the general public over there. And um, it would seem that they want to impose the, 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 these wind farms on the Irish general public instead. Ministers say today's agreement is but a first step to a different type of power sharing agreement between the countries. And no definitive decisions have been taken yet about how the Irish wind energy will be generated. Matt McGrath, BBC News, Tipperary.